videos. The only thing we changed was uh, just to get a little comfortable with is put ODI champ bars on, bars that always run. Uh, we're on some backyard graphics. We're on a Guts uh, Racing C cover, Master Graphics. So we got some Clues tires to try out. They're a UK brand. Just brought them to the US, so we're giving them a go. And, uh, today and see how this bike goes around the track. I live inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles profanities I see a door through ice covered in ink and bleach Cross up the wall to hurt my cries and watch me Last ride on the 2024 KX450 brought to you by Delmar Power Sports. We weren't able to finish the video at the track just because the snow and it was just too cold. But let's break down this 2024 KX450. So with this new bike, it's definitely a step in the right direction. I think all aspects as most people beat the motor down, but I don't feel it's a negative right now just because it's choked off, but we'll get into that a little bit later. With the 2024 KX450, the chassis is improved and it didn't gain any rigidity to the chassis. It's just a comfortable bike with a little bit better front end handling and it's a little bit more front end bias versus rear steering as most cowies are. So it's stepping in that direction of the Honda or Suzuki chassis wise. I really feel like the chassis is probably one of the best chassis out there right now. It's very comfortable. You can hit hard breaker bumps or deep holes or anything like that and the chassis just soaks it up and makes it a lot easier on the rider. Uh, suspension, we we just rode the bike. I honestly didn't even check sag till probably a second ride after it was pretty broken in and got to get some time on it at least. Then we checked the sag and we rode down all the way to 115. Put the sag at 104, which most people recommended, so we kind of just went there, and it was definitely a lot better. A little more weight on the front. When you came out of the corner, got the gas, it wasn't wheeling so hard that it was squatting so much in the rear where you lost the front wheel. Now it's kind of more of a little more of a balanced feel, and honestly, stock suspension is very good. I mean, for the average rider, you can go you can go racing with the suspension just how it is. It's comfortable. For going further with the bike, I think it needs either a stiffer rear spring or some valving just to help with the uh, bottom resistance on the rear shock. It is tend to be a, when you ride it hard and get over some G outs or um, and deep into some landings, it does bottom and feel it through the rear and through your back a little bit. So definitely the rear needs some, uh, some assistance. The front actually feels pretty good, has great hold up. And uh, I think about four Kyra running around three millimeters, but definitely the, the fork's a lot better than the last generation. The motor is actually really good. I think they made great improvements everywhere, but the one I, problem I see is bottom end, but I mean, honestly, it, the motor is so choked off. The exhaust has a lot of baffles and screens in the muffler, and the airbox is just super choked off, so you can't really get a lot of airflow through there. I think a twin air power flow kit honestly that probably might just be enough to get you enough power you need off the bottom and also uh aftermarket exhaust talk to little d at fmf he's got a slip on on the way and i think that'll be a big power gain for this bike i think it's just super choked off and once you fix that i think it's gonna be right up there with 
all the rest of the bikes. The rubber grommet is out. The Kawasaki technicians say take it out, so they even know it's an issue, but it definitely just needs more airflow and more exhaust getting out quicker. And I think just a, a slip on exhaust on it. Mid to top end, mostly the top end, it pulls through the gears. It keeps on pulling through the range and making it a lot. Making more power up top, honestly. Now it feels like it makes more power as the harder you ride it into the range. Kind of throwing the motor down, but I really think it's a good package. Um, right now I'm running the Cha map from what I've seen from everybody. They kind of go that route, which is basically adding uh, more fuel through the range. Side note from the new 24K450, we work with uh, Plus Tires right now, they're a UK brand we're working with. They just came into the US, so worked with them, got a brand new set of MX2 Marley GP tires on front and rear. Um, basically that's their mid to soft tire, and I really enjoyed it. I, the track is pretty soft, really no complaints on the tires. I really want to try them a little bit on some hard, harder conditions, but in soft, deep conditions, I honestly, I probably should went with the MX1, which is the uh, paddle tire, and I would, that would be a recommended tire. Um, we're trying this new brand out. We wanted to try the mid soft, and I was really impressed with it. the front. Didn't do anything weird. It got into turns, was unpredictable. Didn't slide, tuck, nothing. It's a big deciding factor for me on um, any tire I use. If the front works good, I know I can use the the combo and be happy with it. If the front. If the front pushes on me and I can't get confident on it, I won't be confident with the combo, but I'm very, very comfortable with the combo right now. But if you're interested in Plus tires in the USA, head to uh, Risk Racing. They are the US uh, distributor for Plus tires, so if you want to go try this, head, head over to your site and check them out. But overall, KX450 is a a big thumbs up in my book. If you guys are looking for a, a new bike for the 2024 season, I definitely recommend the Kawasaki. Maybe adding a slip-on and or a twin air power flow kit when, when they come out, but I think that those two will be the big change for it and they'll make it a little bit more manageable to ride just from hearing from uh, Kawasaki technicians. I think the those are the two things that would be, be a big gain for the Cali. And if you're interested in Kawasaki, 2024 KX450. Make sure you head down to Demo Power Sports. Make sure you mention Tyler Rossi sent you. Talk to the Bane brothers down there. They'll definitely hook you up. Let me know in the comments if you like it, and we'll we'll keep this going. Hopefully next time it won't be so cold where I can do it at the track and not from my house. But stay safe, ride hard, have fun, and hopefully see you at the track sometime. And make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs>